Hello everyone and welcome back to the High Council. Today we have the first look at the databank download for the Stormtrooper Sergeant and the Stormtroopers for Star Wars Shatterpoint. So these are the first uh, revealed sort of Empire uh, units um, that we get in full. Obviously we know that we've got a Darth Vader um, coming out with this as well in the Fear and Dead Men pack. Uh, but this is the first, I think they're from the uh, Age of Rebellion, or I think that's what the era is called. Um, the first ones that are fully from there. So we've got them here. Uh, we've got that Stormtrooper Sergeant there in the middle uh, with that orange pauldron, shoulder pad, um, bit on, and then the couple of Stormtroopers there just flanking him as well. Uh, very cool looking. Um, it looks, you know, almost like a bit of an upscaled version of the Legion Stormtroopers. So excited to see what these are like, and I think that. Uh, the models themselves are going to have some great options uh, for some conversions or different sculpts or things like that. So hopefully that's something that I can uh, do and just make, make my Stormtroopers a bit more unique, um, if possible. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen what the what the sprawl look like, um, but it would be it would be quite cool. And you think that with the amount of um, with it, what you'd assume are going to be different parts that you can probably do something quite cool with it so yeah anyway let's get right into the article so today's preview features one of the most enduring staples in the galactic empire stormtroopers symbols of fear and oppression across the galaxy each squad of these elite soldiers is led by a capable and extremely loyal sergeant so here we go we've got a stormtrooper sergeant here so a couple of interesting things off the bat he is a uh, three points cost which is um, very cool for a secondary. I think he's going to be the, the second secondary uh, behind maybe Pons. Um, it's going to be three points cost, so it's going to fit nicely in with those Darth Vader Inquisitor squads. Um, bits like that. Uh, no force, and then he is a Stormtrooper Sergeant, and then just a secondary unit. And then he is the uh, has the Galactic Empire tag, the Stormtrooper tag, and has a stamina of nine, a durability of two, um, very similar to what we've seen on other secondaries and then we've got four abilities on his card as well we have a we have a tactic ability an active a reactive and an innate ability as well so if we look at his tactic ability to start with inexplorable advance at the start of this unit's activation you may choose an allied galactic empire supporting unit each character in the chosen, chosen unit may advance. Uh, then if any characters advance, the chosen unit suffers one damage. So a bit of a thing that we'll see uh, from, a, from a theme as we go through here um, is that the Stormtroopers are going to move move and take damage. Um, they'll have abilities that move, allow them to move, but also um, take damage. And part of probably that Empire doctrine of we're going to get success at, at whatever the cost is. Which is very cool. It feels very thematic. And then we've got uh, Imperial Firepower as the active ability, which costs four. Uh, costs force, sorry. Uh, choose an enemy character within range four of two or more allied Galactic Empire characters. The chosen unit gains the pinned or the disarmed condition. So a bit, um, maybe a little bit lackluster here. Um, one force to give out one condition. Um, but as we, we go through the, the card of the Stormtrooper card, we may see that it becomes a lot more... Um, prevalent or um, I guess the, the other good thing is it's just an automatic something that happens so there's no ability to block it or anything like that so yeah you whack this on a, an enemy primary and can, an enemy secondary and stop them from um, getting that, that move off that they want to get off or stopping them getting the attack off using their expertise might might be quite quite powerful but we've got the reactive ability coordinated offensive so when a character in this unit or another allied stormtrooper character makes an attack as part of a combat action before dice are rolled, this unit may use this ability. Add one dice to the attack roll for each allied Stormtrooper unit other than the attacking unit that is within range 5 and line of sight of the target. So this just tells me, uh, I think, looking at the future, that we're going to get more and different Stormtrooper units. Because um, obviously you are, you are restricted to taking one, one of each unit currently. Um, and therefore, the Stormtrooper Sergeant and the Stormtroopers are the only current stormtroopers in the in the game um, I would absolutely expect to see either some 
stormtroopers of a, of a different guys whether that's they call them something different Endor stormtroopers or um, like urban stormtroopers or, or something like that um, so that you can really maximize this this ability as well but um, yeah at the minute you're, you're adding one dice maybe two um, for your two stormtroopers in your other unit uh, which again is, is free and you know what? it's a free ability and it's not something that's going to cost any cost anything so you're, you're basically getting uh, yeah free attack dice for nothing and then finally that innate ability only imperial stormtroopers are so precise characters in this unit have sharpshooter one so obviously if they are using a focus action they're also then going to get the additional dice from that sharpshooter one as well so a little bit underwhelming um the uh, inexplorable advance uh, as we'll see as we look at other stormtroopers um you're getting those those moves off so you're potentially willing to sacrifice the the damage to get into the right move at the right position or anything like that so uh, let's look at this and see if this says anything about it so uh stormtrooper sergeant is an effective leader with abilities intended to facilitate their role of augmenting and directing subordinate soldiers like efficient machine headless heedless of their comfort which is exactly right the inexorable advance just lets them do advances uh, but also taking some damage so uh, yeah there we go so let's get into the uh, stance guard here so this is where things uh, things start to, to heat up quite nicely so we've got forward assault so that is a ranged 5 uh, range attack with 6 attack dice or a uh, engaged attack with 5 attack dice and then we're rolling uh, 5 defensively for both of those and then we've got the ranged expertise so the E11 blaster rifle one to two expertise is going to become a crit and then also the pinned condition and then three plus is becoming a crit two hits and the pin condition as well so very cool to get some conditions as part of your expertise i think it really that that part feels quite thematic with the the stormtroopers ultimately just firing and firing and trying to trying to pin people down um stop them from running about um, which feels exactly the same in things like the the movies if you think of how many times they just kind of randomly start shooting to stop people from running uh, running places things like that and we then got into the uh, melee expertise so one to two is auto damage very nice and the three plus is becoming that hit and the damage as well and then the stormtrooper armor um, which i think is surprisingly similar to the clone trooper armor uh, one to two expertise becomes one block and three becomes two blocks so a bit of a bit of defensiveness there to kind of keep them as safe as possible but ultimately quite quite frail and then if we get into the uh, combat tree so we've got a couple of choices to make as we go through so we start off with a hit uh, uh, and some or sorry a damage and a heal and we have our first choice to make where we either go along the top and stay with damage and the exposed condition or we come down the bottom for a damage and the dis uh, the pinned not the pin sorry damage and a shove um, and then from there we can make decisions to go into either one of the next two trees so we can either stay along the top and do damage and then two heals or we can come down to the bottom for the reposition and a damage as well and then depending on where we've finished in that third that third segment number four is either two damage and a heal along the top or a damage and a shove along down the bottom so that bottom tree definitely is more of a situational want to get into position get a couple of shoves off get a reposition uh, you want to get some some additional movement but then you've also got that top tree there which you know four successes is going to give you four heals um, yeah it can be very powerful and can just keep the stormtrooper sergeant around a bit longer the people around him a bit longer around as well um, not a huge damage output though so maximum of four damage is coming from this card um, potentially five if you throw in the combat training um, auto damage expertise but yeah generally not someone's going to be punching out you know any burst damage you know if i think about someone like some of the primaries that are putting out five damage in their first two or three successes um so yeah four uh sorry five damage total uh one two three yeah i can't count five damage total if they go along the top still not loads um but yeah that is the uh stormtrooper sergeant do they say anything about him here uh, forward assault stance reflects their intense training expertise of the vet. Uh, 
no, nothing else there. Um, did I talk about, I can't remember if I talked about this damage and exposed here. I probably did, but uh, just in case I didn't, because I've just seen it, I've got damage and exposed there on that first one. And then uh, let's look at the Stormtroopers. Uh, so Stormtroopers are four points cost, uh, and they are supporting unit Stormtroopers, two of them in the squad. And they have the Galactic Empire Stormtrooper and Trooper tag, uh, also nine stamina and, and two durability, so very, very tanky. Here, if you think they've got the exact same health as your Stormtrooper Sergeant has here, um, being nine and two as well. So yeah, very cool. And then we've got active, active ability and a reactive ability. So we have Assault Tactics uh, costing one force. Each character in this unit may dash. Uh, then if this unit may suffer, uh, then this unit may suffer one damage to immediately perform a focus action. So very cool, you're getting a, a couple of benefits from there. We'll talk about only Imperial Stormtroopers are so precise, giving them Sharpshooter 1 for that um, innate ability. But yeah, so we're then going to use one force to do a dash, take one damage ultimately, but then add two dice to the next range attack. Um, very, very cool, I think. Uh, but this is the first. We've then got For the Empire, which costs one force. And this is the first ability with the word action on. So this is going to cost one of your two actions to do. So choose an enemy character engaged with one or more characters in this unit and one of the allied characters it is engaged with. Push the chosen enemy character away two from the chosen allied character, then this unit gains the exposed condition. So choose an enemy character engaged with one or more characters in this unit. So yeah, the wording on this is a bit a bit funny. So um, let's just work it out. So choose an enemy character engage with one or more characters in this unit. So an enemy character that is engaged with one of the Stormtroopers um, and one of the allied characters it is engaged with. So it doesn't have to be the Stormtroopers, that could be another another squad or anything like that. So it, let's just say it's, it's the Stormtroopers and that character. Push the chosen enemy character away too from the chosen allied character then this unit gains the exposed condition. So a little interesting there around uh, reading it, it reads as the stormtroopers then gain the exposed. So I guess you're you're getting that free push um, to get to move them away range too. So I guess to get them out of melee range with you or engaged range with you, so you can uh, utilize your ranged attacks against them. Um, but then giving yourself exposed seems like it might be a bit of a tricky tricky double-edged sword um, unless like the Stormtrooper Sergeant we have a look at the stance guard and we get lots of heals on it so which we we do so if we look at the stance guard here so we've got assault training um, so range five five dice attack uh, for both range five and in melee and then defensively we're rolling five dice for a range attack and only four dice for in melee but if you think that if you combine assault training with the Assault Tactics to give them a focus, uh, to then give them a Sharpshooter 1, to take it up to 7 dice all of a sudden he's looking a lot more looking a lot more dangerous themselves. So um, yeah, that's that could be quite useful. We've then got the Expertise, so the E11 Blaster Rifle, uh, 1 is giving them the Pinned Condition, 2 to 3 is giving them a Crit, a Damage and the Pinned Condition, and then 4 plus is giving them the Crit, a Hit, a Damage and the Pinned Condition as well. So very nice looking combat tree there. That two to three one um, is the I think is a nice sweet spot where you're going to get some consistent damage out um, as you go. And then we've got combat training, so the melee uh, engaged expertise. One becomes a hit, uh, damage sorry, and two plus becomes a hit and a damage. And then the stormtrooper armor is the exact same as it is for the stormtrooper sergeant. So one to two becoming one block, and three plus becoming two blocks. And then if we look at the combat tree here. So we are starting off with one hit, first of all, and then we have a choice to make. We either go along the top and do the one additional hit of uh, damage, and then a strain condition, or we come down to the bottom and hit ourselves with two heals. Then we go into the middle for a shove and a damage. Uh, doesn't matter which option you choose in the second section, that's where you have to go. Then the fourth section, we get another choice. We either go up to the top for the exposed and a damage, or we stay on the bottom and do the pin, uh, the disarmed and the damage. 
before we finish off with two damage. So six damage uh, maximum is what we can put out here. Um, but we're also going to throw out either a heal, so a couple of um, conditions as well. So something they can definitely, uh, yeah, definitely put out. Probably quite high numbers consistently if they're going to roll those seven attack dice. Um, if they've used assault tactics to give them the focus and the sharpshoot one, so they are going to be potentially doing, yeah, quite a nice, quite a nice pack a punch um, bit as well. So yeah, I think that is everything. Um, I'm I'm excited about the stormtroopers. I am going to be I'm probably going to be more excited about stormtroopers when we get the next lot of empire reveals. Um, whether that's other stormtroopers or um, just anything like that, I think at the minute these are going to be the only empire characters. Um, I don't like. I do count the inquisitors, but if I'm thinking late, late original trilogy, uh, these are going to be the only characters from that. So as soon as we get some other characters that go alongside it, um, I think it'll be very cool. But you add these into Darth Vader. Um, if you haven't seen the Darth Vader preview, check that out uh, from the other day. And you've got uh, the, the makings of a really strong core. I think it's three points cost secondary is very cool. Um, allows you to fit them in with uh, Inquisitors um, and things like that. You don't have to worry about taking pawns so you can take all the Inquisitors or anything like that. So yeah, that is, that's very cool. Um, this is everything. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're still here, thank you very much. Um, check out the other videos and I'll see you in the next one.